Hi students, today's topic of discussion is isosceles triangle theorem. So what does the theorem says? The theorem says if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite to them are congruent. Let us see this with an example triangle PQR. If two sides that is PQ and PR are congruent, then the angles opposite to them like R is the opposite angle to PQ and angle Q is an opposite angle to PR. So if the sides are congruent, then the angles opposite to them are also congruent. So this is the theorem which we need to prove. First we will write what is the given data. The given data is we have triangle PQR and segment PQ is congruent to PR, segment PR. This is the given data and we need to prove that angle Q is congruent to angle R. So to prove this we need to do a construction. We have to draw angle bisector of P that is PS okay so we have made an angle bisector to angle P such that QPS now is congruent to RPS so this angle becomes congruent to this angle so this is our construction so what we have done as a construction point we have made segment PS which is angle bisector of angle P therefore angle QPS is congruent to RPS RPS so this was our construction so now let us see how we will prove this so this is our proof so now here we will have the given data and we need to prove and our construction. So these all data we will use to prove our theorem. So in triangle P Q R segment P Q is congruent to segment P R which is the given data okay and by construction now we have that angle QPS and angle RPS are congruent. So angle QPS is congruent to angle RPS. Okay. So this is by construction. Okay. And while we were doing that, this PS is a common side which is common to both the triangles, triangle QPS and triangle RPS. So segment PS is congruent to segment PS because it is the common side. So as you can see the two triangles QPS and RPS has one segment congruent, another segment congruent and the included angle between these two segments of both the triangles are also congruent. So we can say therefore triangle QPS is congruent to triangle RPS okay, by side angle side test. Okay. So now we have proved that these two triangles QPS and RPS are congruent as such then these two angles will also be congruent. So therefore angle Q is congruent to angle R as they are corresponding angles of congruent triangles. This we can write it as corresponding angle of congruent triangle. 
So we have proved that angle Q is congruent to angle R. So hence the theorem is proved that if two sides of a triangle are congruent then the angles opposite to them are congruent. So what we started with that PQ is congruent to PR and what we got is angle Q is congruent to angle R. So hope you like this video and we will meet next time with next video or next concept. See you. Bye.